Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Terry. For those of you that are new here, I am a registered behavior technician in the state of Florida. And today I am at my client's house, just got here. He's out watching TV while I get the room ready. Um, so what have I done so far? Let's see, I got my, I rolled my little cart out here. It's usually kept in the living room. I got a couple of sensory bins that are also held in the living room. I pulled them out. Today we're gonna have some ocean bin. We're gonna have, this is another ocean one, I guess. And this is my favorite, personally. It's a real cute one. And then, I'm gonna go into the closet here. And then every day I go through this and pick some stuff that I would like. Um, most of this stuff is not mine, it actually belongs to his mother that she buys for him to use, for us to use during session. Obviously it's all of his stuff and I have access to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready for him and then I'm gonna call him in here and then we're gonna start. Hey right, guys, so I have him here in the room. He's in an interesting mood, so we'll see how this goes. We are going to, we have already agreed, me and him, that we're going to do our morning routine, which is our daily calendar, our journal, and then we're going to do painting, which is what he wants to work for, for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is our a calendar right here. And we're gonna find out, it's number one, yes. Look, July 1st. Very good. So it's a brand new month, buddy. So here we have June. You see, now it's gonna be July. So we're gonna look at our board. And now we need to find July. Here you go. So we're gonna put July. We're changing months. Not? Yep, we're gonna change the month. <coughs> we have a light cough going on, but yeah. everything's fine. Thank you. And like you said, it's the first, it's number one. Here you go. Number one is the day. Last but not least, how do you feel today? How are we feeling today, buddy? Do we feel angry, sad, silly, or are we feeling happy? Which one? You feel sad today? Hmm? I guess so. Okay, can you say how you feel? Say, I feel. Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. As of right now, the feeling is sad, but later when he starts to feel better, he will change it. He likes to do that. Um, but it's right now kind of a, he's trying to escape. He doesn't really want to work right now. So that's why the sad thing is, has come up. But anyways, let's go ahead and write in our journal, buddy, okay? All right, guys, I told you we had a change of heart now and he wants to change it to happy. There you go. There you go. All right. And all because we were writing on here and he didn't want to circle sad. He wanted to circle happy, so. There you go. Why do you feel happy today, buddy? Because. Right, so we ended up writing. Today I feel happy because I will paint. And now he's drawing a picture. And then we're going to, because he was able to finish the two things we agreed on, I will go ahead and give him the paint. Alrighty guys, so as promised, I went ahead and provided him the paint because he did complete both the calendar and the journal within 10 minutes. So what I was running there was a time on task program, which for right now we have set for 10 minutes. So I timed it and for 10 minutes he <coughs> sat working. Bless you. Um, Bless you, good job covering your mouth, good job. Um, so that's what we just worked on then. So now I'm going to go ahead and give him time to paint and then we will run it again doing something else. So not only am I teaching him things, you know, like the day and the month and all that stuff, but really at the end of the day, I'm just trying to take data and work on time on task with him, if that makes sense. So yes, a lot of the time we're playing and we're you know, doing little activities and stuff, but there's always a reasoning behind each one. He, he has five. Five colors on his tail? Yes. Okay, very nice. 
not sure if you can hear it in his voice, but he's a tad bit sick. But that is obviously going to affect how he works today. And he's coughing because he just heard me talking about it. So that is going to affect how he works today. And I will definitely have to put that in my notes as an environmental change because he's not going to work today like he would normally work if he was, you know, well. But what I will show you today is a little tour of my card, which has also been um, highly requested, especially on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, go ahead and do so, behavior underscore works. I talk to you guys a bunch on there, communicate with you guys there, so please go ahead and do that. Anyways, let's see what I have in here. Alrighty guys, where do I even begin? So um, I this card stays here. My client's mom made it for me. She is the sweetest, most involved parent I know. Um, so these are things that we use every day or often if not every day so these are like little folders kind of and they have little manipulatives see so shiny and hard smooth and green so you're going to sort the manipulatives out on into this folder and these are where the manipulatives are so i would just search for classroom cleanup and i would find them here somewhere i'd have to look through it so i have a bunch of these these are from Lakeshore, by the way. I have this. He really likes this book. I don't like it too much. I think it's too easy for him, but he likes it because of the pictures and it's cute and whatever, but not my favorite anymore. I like to challenge him a little bit more now. So of course, I have my the uh, she, he, they PDF from ABA Source. Um, let's see. I also have some just a regular paper for if he wants to color. Then I also have my token board in here, which we use. Then, right now we're working a lot using this one. Here we are. <clears throat> using this book, this is a pretty good book. It's a little bit difficult, getting a little hard, but we work through it. This is, we don't use this every single day, but it is a really good um, little book. You do like sight word practice daily and it's really like short sight word practice. See, see like this would be Monday, like just color in the words. Tuesday, you're just going to trace and write. Wednesday, you know, fill in the blank. So it's just like a little exercise for every single day. So that's really, it's a cute little idea. All right, what else? We also have our Bob books, which are amazing because they are really helping with him learning how to read because they're super, super simple. You guys have seen us actually read them in another um, one of my videos, but I have a bunch of these. And mom just got us also the workbook that goes along with it. So we haven't tried it yet because this is brand new, but we will definitely give it a try and I'll update you guys on how we like it. So basically we have a lot of workbooks, to put it simply. Lots and lots of workbooks. We have some fun things in here too. We have this book, which is magic painting. So basically all you need is water and a brush and the colors will come out. It's like in this little black ink and the colors will come out, for example, like in here, see? So this is fun, he likes that. Also have our, um, like a paint pad, paint or coloring or drawing. This is a good one, coloring pad. And then here is the other end of the calendar and the other end of the responsibility chart too. So I keep that in here and I will try my best guys to put all of this stuff in the description box um, for you with all the things I can find. So that was the first level. Let's move down. Um, this, like I said, this goes with the folders. Here I have a little tiny magnet board, which I use um, with these letters. So I have um, my magic sand here, or maybe a source. I have the puzzles here. He really likes the AB source puzzles, so I keep them here as reinforcement. Um, right now we are doing a lot of work actually with this. He enjoys it and he's learning a lot and I don't even know where you get this mom printed it out for us but um, we're reading and we're writing in it every day 
Um, so this is really what we're doing. See, we're matching. And he likes it. So if he likes it, I'm happy. Okay, I also have um, one of ABS Source's magnet play boxes. This is the ocean themed one. Um, he likes to use this too as reinforcement, so I leave this one here. And of course, we have to keep the hand sanitizer nearby. Um, this is, these are wipes to clean the whiteboard and tissues and his Pokemon book that is also reinforcement, so we leave that there. He's looking at me now as I just said the words. Finish painting, buddy. And then on the side here are all of the, so this we're still learning. So these are like the verbs that we're learning. These are the sight words that we're working on. And then these are the ones that he already knows. He knows all of these. And I go ahead and do maintenance on them every once in a while. Um, these are the sight words he knows. So that's why I don't put them away. I keep them right here. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So between my cart that I keep here every day, my bag that I bring every day, and the closet, I have more than enough things to work with for five hours. So for those of you that ask how I have, you know, what I do for five hours, I go through all of this stuff, <laughs> pretty much. Wow, buddy, this is incredible. This is so beautiful. Good job. <gasps> Ta-da! I love it's it. Or the color. It's all of the colors. That's amazing. Don't touch it, though. What? Say, can I go show my mom? Can I? Can I show my mom? Absolutely. Go, go show her. Go, go, go. Go show mom. Let's go show mom. Oh my gosh. That is beyond amazing. I love it. All right, guys, so I didn't film it, but we just did some cutting. He cut out these guys and I cut out the smaller pieces to help him out. And now we're gonna do some gluing, buddy. Here you go. And we're gonna match the word to the picture. And yes, it looks kind of difficult, but not to worry because we have the answers right here for him. So we are going to do that now. This is one of the things that we do almost every day with the thing that I just showed you, the, the workbook that I don't know where mom got. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> it's a little bit too much, but there you go. That's enough. Cool? You turn around for one second and they're up to something. It's incredible. They are fast. Good job, bud. All right, we pasted right there and now we're on the next page. Tulip, what's missing? What's missing, buddy? And he he's looking at the at this right there to refer it back to. What's missing? Very good, you tulip. Okay. And so right now, guys. By the way, I'm running both the I have a timer for sitting correctly, um, as well as for what are you doing, buddy? Time on task. You're looking for let me see, the toucan. Let's see. Very good. What's missing? What's the letter they need? It says T U C A N. Hmm. Okay. I think they made a error here. It's an A, buddy. An A. Very good. Toucan. Alrighty. And here we are with the rhyming, which we have a little bit of trouble with, but we're working on it. Does tree and me rhyme? Yeah. Yes, good job, yes. Good job. Very good, tomato. Can you say tomato? Tomato. Tomato. Very good. Mm, mm. Tulip. Tulip. 
tulip. Can you say tulip? Tulip. Very good. Wow, he's good. Turtle. Can you say turtle? Turtle. Turtle. And tree. Toucan. Toucan. There you go. Guys, and when it comes to all of the session materials, like the card and the closet and all of the things that I bring in here and all the extra stuff mom has, she has more stuff outside in the living room. He does not touch it when I'm not here. So that's really important, right? Because if he were to have access to it when I wasn't here, he would become satiated and none of this stuff would be any good um, with me, right? Because he would have, he could play with it whenever he wants. So. This stuff is strictly only for when Anna's here, and he knows that. And mom does a really, really good job of keeping it away from him. He does not touch it and go through it when I'm not here. So, just a little side note. All right, guys. So, after running um, time on task, sitting, as well as going through our tax, he has now earned his um, preferred toy, which was light cable and the... Um, magnet tiles. He loves magnet tiles, so that's what we're up to right now. I have the timer set for him for his little break. He's actually doing pretty good, um, considering the fact that he's not feeling, you know, all that great. So, good job, buddy. Proud of you. Wow, buddy, this is so cool. Guys, look at how cute the sensory bin is. It's a pond one. I love it. So we did some reading with the Bob books. Buddy, can you sit down nicely in your chair? I need you to sit down nice. All right? Thank you. That's a negative for the chair sitting. Okay, so like I was saying, we were doing some reading with the Bob books and we did pretty well. We worked with that. And now I'm gonna give him just a few minutes to play with the sensory bin before um, lunchtime. Out in the kitchen, in the living room with his brother and sister. So that's what we're up to right now. What is that? An otter. Cool. Hey guys, so I am now done with my client. It is 2.40 in the afternoon. Um, I had lunch um, in the house with him, so I'm good to go to my girls now. I think I'm gonna cut the video right here. Please remember to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and keep coming back for some more videos, huh? And let me know what else you guys would like to see so I can try to accommodate. We aim to please here at Behavior Works. All right, see you later. Bye.